Hi, thank you for joining us here at Dave and Kelly's Epic Road Trip Adventure. Um, you have to excuse us, this is the first time we've ever done a YouTube video, so you know, excuse us for having uh, poor acting or uh, technical difficulties in it. We'll try our best to, to do a good job. Anyways, um, what is our Epic Road Trip Adventure? A little background. Um, I've been a firefighter for about 28 years. I love old fire trucks and I own a 1959 Seagrave engine right now. And for a number of years, I've been looking for a Seagrave uh, tiller ladder truck. A tiller ladder truck is a, it's a tractor trailer basically. You got your front cab and then the back end is a ladder and then there's a steering spot uh, in the back end to steer the ladder around. They're used for in cities where there's some real tight quarters and, and uh, they're really maneuverable. Um, and I've been looking one for a number of years. About 10 years ago, my oldest son, Matt, and my buddy Jay went back to Indiana to look at one. Um, it served in uh, Louisville, Kentucky as Hook and Ladder 1. Um, I've got a picture here of it. Hopefully this will show up okay. It's this one right here. Uh, this is a 1957. You can see it's got the tractor up here and then the back end is the trailer and right up over here you can see the steering station that's located up on the uh, up on the ladder. Um, unfortunately some things fell through on that one and, we, and I wasn't able to purchase it. So fast forward 10 years and now I found a 1973 Seagrave uh, tiller. The tractor is a 73 and the, the ladder is anywhere from 1968 down to probably about 1950. I've got a couple of pictures here. I can kind of give you an idea. The ladder's like the other one we went and looked at. The ladder, okay, sorry, this is all backwards. This back cap here, this is the ladder. And same thing, you can see up top is the steering station. This is a three section ladder, so it hangs out quite a bit over the back of the trailer. So this is the, the type of trailer that we'll get. And then, the cab actually looks like this. So it's a, it's a newer style cab. It's the flat nose. Um, this thing is in, it looks like it's in really good shape by the video I, I got from the owner who's also another, uh, works for a fire department. Um, so getting kind of excited to go there. Uh, we're leaving in five days. We're leaving Friday morning to head back. We're going to go the southern route getting over there. So we'll go through New Mexico, Texas, uh, Louisiana, Mississippi, and end up in Alabama. I've got to find out the the actual town that the guy lives in. I'll find that out this week. Um, so hopefully we're leaving Friday. We'll get there Saturday. We're going to drive pretty much nonstop. Probably get there Saturday mid afternoon. Look at the truck, and you know if it's in the condition the uh, guy has told me it is, and then, then we're going to end up purchasing it. And then the fun begins. Then we start a Dave adventure, and you can ask anybody who knows me and they can tell you what a Dave adventure is. Something's going to happen on the trip. We're hoping, knock on wood, that this truck will, you know, make it back because we're planning on driving it. Uh, it's probably going to take us three or four days. We're not going to push it because it is an older truck. It's got a big old Detroit diesel in it, so it's got that great sounding uh, engine that you can hear from probably about a half mile away. Um, we're either going to come back the southern route or we're going to go around uh, up through Oklahoma and across that way and, and come down off the Mogollon Rim in Arizona back down to Scottsdale. Um, so if you see us out on the road, uh, feel free to honk and wave to us. Uh, should be quite the trip. Uh, we're really looking forward to it. And what we'll do here is we'll just we'll leave some updates as we're getting ready to go, kind of our preparation a little bit and some things we're thinking about and, and everything. And then we'll just be uh, uploading more videos to the site and kind of kind of show you our trip. Uh, we've got several uh, GoPro cameras, so we'll be filming it from different angles, and, and uh, we got a handheld video camera, so we should have some interesting shots of the trip. Hopefully, none of us broke down. So uh, keep fingers crossed and knock on wood. Anyways, uh, again, thanks for watching this. Uh, sorry if we've got some poor quality or technical difficulties. We'll we'll keep trying to improve on that. And uh, like I told you, we'll be adding more videos as we go. Thanks again. Bye.